Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. Today we're taking a tech dive. This is our fourth in our series of streaming devices. And today we're going to talk about the Raspberry Pi. Now the Raspberry Pi is a single board computer. As a matter of fact, I have one right here. This is about a credit card size computer. It's Linux based computer, but it doesn't come with anything. It comes with this and oh, just this. But it's $35 and it's an amazing little computer. I mean, over here, you have your ethernet jack and you have your two USB ports. Over here, you have your composite video. You have your sound either in or out. Here, you have your power jack. Now, this is just a standard uh, like Android cell phone charger. It's a micro USB charger. So anything will do as far as those kind of chargers. It doesn't come with one, you have to supply your own. Over here, we have an HDMI connector. This will connect to your high definition television. So either high definition with an HDMI or video, composite video on a TV that doesn't have HDMI. Now, you'll notice there's no hard drive, but at the bottom, we have this SD card adapter. Now, all I've done is I've taken an SD card this was an 8 gig one. You can use up to 32 gigs. And I've loaded Rasp BMC on here. Now you can get Rasp BMC if you go to the Raspberry Pi um, website, raspberrypi.co.uk. Uh, you'll be able to get all the different uh, installations for Raspberry Pi. This is a Rasp BMC installation. Now what we do is we just take this, put this card right into this slot. And there we have our operating system already loaded. Now we're not going to actually be powering this up in this video, but if you look at yesterday's video, it'll show you what the XBMC interface looks like. Now, I'm going to put this down here. XBMC used to be called the Xbox Media Center. Now it's just called XBMC. You can get a lot of content on there. You can get movies. There are movie channels. You can get podcast channels. Uh, you can even get some cable channels, but they're not live streaming as far as the cable channels. It's more like a DVR type of thing where they already have episodes waiting for you to pick to choose. So like you can get Food Network, you can get DIY Network, History Channel, and many, many, many others. Um, and you can go through the XBMC interface, go to settings, go to add-ons, and you can pick from a, a wide array of uh, content for you. So if you're a cord cutter, um, you have lots of choices. You have Roku, Apple TV, Chromecast, Raspberry Pi running Rasp BMC. Next time we're going to talk about smart TVs and smart devices like smart DVD players, smart Blu-ray players, things of that nature. And that'll probably tie up our streaming uh, tutorial for what devices you can use. But until next week, at this time, I'm David Hale for Tech Dive TV. Have a great day.